Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com uh, bringing another wet fly pattern for you today. Uh, pretty simple one, very effective one. I was fishing this just yesterday and caught a few fish on it. Actually it's going to be in one of my upcoming videos on wet fly fishing. Um, worked real real well for me. We're gonna, I'm going to call this, this is one I come up with there last week and just tested it out yesterday and it worked really really well I was real impressed um, it's a we're gonna call it the ultimate olive it's a small I'm tying it on a size 14 Daiichi 1560 wet fly hook next thing we're gonna put on is a piece of gold wire size small just a real thin piece of wire on here I like to keep it on the bottom I'm not gonna take it the whole way back back here to the bend I'm not gonna want you see where I stopped at more or less right above the barb a little bit in front of the barb actually um, I'm gonna keep this real sparse real thin next thing I'm gonna take and use is a peacock sword and the feather the part of, of it that I'm gonna use is the hurl on the bottom the longer hurl but it's real thin a lot thinner than the uh, hurl on a peacock eye that comes with a peacock eye and these are a lot smaller the hurl part of it's a lot smaller so it's going to make for a lot smaller fly and a lot smaller profile to it so I'm just going to trim off the butt here and we're going to tie this down and again I'm going to stop the same place I stopped my wire like I said, I want this to be like a traditional wet fly, real sparse, but I want to give it the color. This is going to give it this real greenish blue color along with that ribbed hurl look to it. And I'm just going to uh, palmer this up through here. And you're going to see it's going to, it's going to vein from the hurl and then it's going to have that nice green strip around it. So it makes a real thin, real nice segmented body to it, real nice look to it. And then as you get up here to the top, the hurl or the uh, it, it gets a little bit closer together and it gets a little bit thicker, which is nice. Gives you a nice look there. We're gonna take that right up there and leave room for our head. Okay, just make a couple wraps, tie that down good pull it off, it's real thin. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my gold tinsel here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make about five wraps behind it. Part of the reason why I started this so far up is because I want to come back and make a couple gold wraps and make a little gold butt at the back of this. Just give it a little extra flash. I want to get about five wraps with this because it's real small so about five wraps gets you something you can see the little butt back there and then I'm gonna take and wrap this with the harrow and just wrap over wrap over that and with the segment so it's gonna have a, a lot of wraps here but it's gonna give it some flash in between that green it's just a really thin really flashy body We're just going to rib this the whole way up there. And once we get up here to the end, we're just going to tie it off. Okay, and then we'll just helicopter that right off the end there. Comes real, right off real easy. And the last thing we're going to use is we're going to use an olive Brahma feather. And I'm going to try to find a smaller one here. Okay, this is size 14. You don't want to get your you don't want to get your um, hackle too long. What I'm going to do is I got a bigger feather here, but I'm just going to just going to use the tips of it. This is a dyed olive um, soft hackle chickaboo. This is, is what this is coming off of. Would be the same thing as your Brahma hen. If you have a Brahma hen cape with the side patches that I always use, I right now here here 
shooting a video here, I don't have that handy, but I have a soft tackle chickapoo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch this and I'm going to pull this back, just get a little tag. Now you'll see when I pull that back, that's about the right size of the hackle length that I want when I pull that back. And I'm only going to get about two wraps out of this, is all I need. So just going to tie that back, make that little tag right there. We're going to tie this down. Trim that off. Okay, like I said, I only want about two wraps. I don't want this real thick. And we're going to keep pulling them fibers back so we don't trap them down. There are my two wraps. And we're going to tie this hackle off. When I come up with this, I figured it was going to fish, and then I fish well. And I took it out yesterday to work on a wet fly video and put this on as my bottom fly, and they were just hammering it. Every fish I caught ended up being on this. It's not really a, doesn't really imitate anything in particular, just small. When it gets in the water, it gets a darker color to it. So small, and it has like a generic color to it. But man, does this thing ever fish. Now, granted, we have a lot of olive colors in our area, like a lot of blue-winged olives and stuff. So this would be a perfect match for the blue-winged olive. But that's how simple this fly is, and I'm promising you, you're going to catch fish on it. Hope you enjoyed this. This is a simple tie. Looks very, very nice. Very easy to do. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep watching back for new videos. We keep posting them all the time. And the materials needed to tie these flies, you can find at our website at holsingersflyshop.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger. Today I'm going to show something a little bit different in my videos. I'm going to give a little product review. Um, today what we're going to show off here is our Fly Tires Variety Pack. This is a great deal. Um, we want to show these off. There's tons and tons of feathers in this. I, I like these so much that when I got when we got them in, I had to keep one for myself. What there is in these packs, for the most part, there's a lot of bugger packs, different pieces of material. And I'm going to take out the one that I'm going to show you here, the one that I'm going to keep for myself, and just show you the variety of feathers that you get in here, the different colors that we're going to get. Like I said. And here's where this is a real, real value for everybody. Here's your standard bugger pack, okay, from whiting. Same product. We're getting the same feathers that's in your bugger pack in this variety pack. These bugger packs are going to run you about $20, give or change some tax and shipping. Um, we're selling this whole pack right here with all your different colors for right around $16 plus shipping. There's everything in these packs that you can imagine. Everything from pieces of cocktail on to soft tackle chickaboo patches. I'll shoot you a real quick shot here at the end and a close up different things that came in the pack that I took. Um, but anyhow, this is a great value for you at only $16. You're going to get a lot of different feathers. It gives you a lot of different coverage on different flies from your woolly buggers to your streamers. And it's at a great value over the price of just one bugger pack like I showed you here before. So like I said, keep us in mind. You need anything, we're at wholesalersflyshop.com.